Hey guys, Mars here. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at Polyrath with its new community demo. Um, these battles are over two days, but I did have a lot of content. Um, this, I think this video is 17 minutes long. I actually did my full set yesterday for the first time in months, and I did two sets today. I got several 5-0s, I don't remember exactly. So everything it was hyped up to be, it lived to that expectation in my opinion. I had one that's I think rank 3 in the Great League, but because um, it was during the coming today, you can't, you can't TM, elite TM during the coming today, you have to wait until after, so I made a new one. Which is not bad, if I'm being honest. I think it's still top 30. Um, I did have some shiny less left over from who want to trade. Because I, I know many people didn't get to play. I had the shinies before the coming today. So I wasn't too much interested in I have two shadow shinies as a matter of fact. So I wasn't so much interested in the coming today. I just wanted the coming today move for the polyrath. I did evolve a poly to get the community day move just because I use it but I'm not a fan. So let's get into the video. Um, the core of Lantern and Ferrothorn is the same. Pretty standard if you think about it. Um, Lantern is great for everything in this meta. It's weak to only ground. We should have looked out for Escav and the Mud Boys, which Ferrothorn covers with the exception of the Escav. So we cover the counter or the fighting weakness of the Ferrothorn with a Polyrath. We use either Escav ourselves, um, Lucario, or Marwal to cover that weakness. But since the Polyrath is not still in the case of Lucario or Escav, you eliminate a lot of the weaknesses that comes with using a counter user. So in my, my opinion, that automatically makes Polyrath top 10 in this meta in terms of usability. Today, I came across a lot of people using it yesterday because I'm in Japan. I uh, get the comment today before a lot of people do. So I, I was in Japan, I got to do the community then immediately as the community day started, I evolved one and I did all five sets. I didn't even play the community today to be honest. And I did all five sets. I got about three five holes, one, four, one. And the first set I did, I wasn't using Polarot. I got one in four. I lost that set really bad. Today I only did two sets and I got a three. 3-2 and a 4-1 and I have that 4-1 footage to show you. I took one loss, one loss that I had a bad lead. So we're going to talk about that a little later on. So that's the idea of the team. Start Lantern, you're only weak to the Mud Boys or Ludicolo. If you have a land, um, Ferrothorn in the lead, you come your Ferrothorn. You don't want to come Polyrath. Polyrath is a great counter to it. You'd have to burn shields, but you don't want to come Polyrath. You come your own Ferrothorn. Pretty much anything you can stay in with your Lantern, you don't come art counter into that. Otherwise, staying or uh, swapping will not prove well it would be just RPS because I'm pretty sure anyone is playing this league of counter for anything that you would have on your team. So that's the first strategy in using this team. The second thing is as a safe stop for a turn is pretty stable. You can run it with flash cannon. I prefer Thunder because it's it it's a little bit more neutral. The only thing you need to, you'd get flash cannon 
to be more useful is if you're up against another Ferrothorn. Otherwise, it's resisted in a lot of cases. So I use Thunder. I'm running all fighting moves on the Polarath simply because of what the team is built for. You have no coverage for anything else, but you hit the Lanterns pretty well. You hit everything pretty well except flying and you only have one flyer in this cup which is um, Pelipper and you have two coverage of Pelipper so if you lose against Pelipper it's just really unfortunate you'd have to add bad alignment because you have two coverage for the Pelipper so with that in mind we have a mirror match here this is where flash cannon might come in handy for you it takes a little bit longer to get to which is also a drawback to it so i don't see the need so we're just going to go straight to thunder we have two shields we're going to shield this up um i think our lantern in the back does have energy we're using both our shields so a power whip and a thunder should do the job here and we get to it i'm not sure i don't remember what they have in the back Oh, they didn't have anything in the back, so we're taking that win. I think the next match. Oh, this is one of the five holes. In the next match, I took a loss. I don't think it's this one. So this is today. And this is the RPS so far. Do the call is pretty um, broken. I did make a video about it because it's um for this meta it's typing does really well you have no real weaknesses with the exceptional lantern but your razor leaf does so much damage unless it shields down and you come in as a closer you're losing to the lantern we're getting off the thunderbolt here and i think we're going to want to catch which we did successfully and they have a ferrothorn on the back so we're just going to go power punch here we don't care if they shield or not we are going to shield because our counter damage is doing that much i'm going to go power punch just because and i let it go because i know it's over This is a troublesome one. I'm having the lantern on the lead because our, your only answer to the lantern here is the Ferrothorn. So this is how I play it. I shield up the first Thunderbolt. I throw my Thunderbolt, then beat on the second one. So I'm going to let this go. Oh, I don't beat here. I think I use this as, an, as a training so I to beat so I'm catching on the ferrothorn which is not working in my case because now they have a Lucario they're going to ramp up this will not kill Lucario is pretty glassy but still wouldn't, wasn't going to kill so we're going to bring in our polyrath farm down they have a lant they have their lantern in the back so they didn't bring that in. We're going to go straight dynamic punch here. That was too fast. So we're not going to shield this ice punch. If they let this go, they're going to be in the low red. Fantastic. So now we're, we're looking perfect. We can just counter down. And that's the beauty of counter. It's such an OP fast move. Especially when you're getting stabbed. We're going to let this go. I didn't want to shield. Because I was afraid they were going to spark down. So we'll swap to take them out, but they back out after that. Fantastic lead. Fantastic swap. And this is our pace so far. That was not a shadow ball. Close combat. So good shield on my part. We're not going to eat any of the bubbles. Because we CMP tied. So, so we can get some farm. If they come back with their polyrath, we're looking perfect because we got a dynamic um power punch boost. 
and they let that go as well. So we're looking fantastic. We can let this go. I think that's a surf. Nah. So we can come either Lantern or Ferrothorn. We're trying to catch a dynamic punch there. So we're going to let this go. Because they still have two shields. So we have to be smart about this. We're going to go Surf, call the bait. And they have a Pokemon in the back, which is not great. We're shielding this. So dynamic punch. We're trying to get their last shield and I don't think they give it up. And that's where I lost this game. If I had just gone straight on the boat there, we would have taken them out and have time to farm them. So we got a three, this was the three two I told you about. Told you about. Bad lead, we come first or not or Polyrath. When they're staying in like this, they're telling me that they're weak to Ferrothorn in the back. So if the opportunity comes out where you can swap, do that. Otherwise, you're, uh, you're telling me that either there's a flyer in Pelipper in the back or a water. In most cases, the water types are water ground, which is not good. But that's where the polyrod comes and in the team you don't take super effective from either the water or the mud moves though in the great league polyrod is kind of glassy so we're going to come here and farm down they bring back their lantern we're going to go straight on the boat we have energy advantage which is good and we don't have shield advantage i think we're going to use a shield here just to preserve because again you're telling me that they're weak in the back to, to to, to either Ferrothorn or Lightning. So we just want to preserve as much as we can. And we don't want our Polyrath to go up against this thing either way. So if they let this go. Ah, I was correct. So we're going to beat here. We've got the last shield, which is perfect. We're bringing in the Polyrath just to absorb all their energy. That way we can finish farm to the Thunderbolt, but it was kind of a roundabout way to be honest with you. We could have stayed in shielding whatever move they threw, and would have gotten to the Thunderbolt before. But I was worried about a catch, and that was the point of it. So that was a bit of a roundabout way to do it. Shouldn't have done it that way. We formed on the Ferrothorn, and we get into the Thunderbolt. So if I had lost that, it would have been on my. Um, that would have been my bad. I'm um, still credit to the trainer. We talk about um, the lantern need. So we shield the first one, build up extra, go thunderbolt to ourselves, and then beat for the second one. Because the second one would kill anyway. We win the CMP. Let's see if they bite. They didn't take the bait. We're trying to catch, but we CMP died. So this is looking bad so far. We're going to go surf again. They shield this time. Unless they go Thunderbolt, we're going to survive. So I'm hoping they went Surf. Perfect. So we can take this out with a Surf. And they will only get one fast move out of Farm. We have an answer for the Pelipper. We shield up the Hurricane correctly just to be in a safe position. And this is where. As a counter user, you're better off than both Lucario and Escavalier because they're both steel. Marwell would have done a ridiculous amount of damage. So we're going to let this go. Well, we don't have any shields, obviously. So farm a little bit extra because the Pelipper is dry. A weather ball might have done some serious damage, but we didn't want to take that chance. So we make sure we got to the Thunder to take out the Pelipper. Perfect lead. Can't ask for a better lead. We could have come Ferrothorn here. But I wanted to see what the counter damage would be. It, it was a bit experimental on my part. So I built up to the dynamic punch. To go power punch. The shield which is perfectly fine. We're committing both our shields to win the swap here. Because we don't know what they have in the back. Farming all the way down. 
we are power punch ramped once let's see that's almost 50 percent and this is perfect so even if this little mouse takes us out i forgot what its name togadamaru we still have a fully healthy fur thorn in the back that can deal with the pelipper they need to get to two wild charges to take us out we're going to lose cmp obviously but the aim is to get them to drain their energy they are four times debuff here so we're just going to go dynamic punch just to do some cheap damage and i think this ended up taking it out as well which works great in my case niantic being true niantic there would be some glitch um, that brought us to 4-0 and this was the last battle for the day and yeah this is the last battle for the day let's see what we have here harbor lead i have no i only have the art answer to it which i should i should have stayed in chipped with thunderbolt now I swap art counter and it doesn't matter what I bring in at this point because the Ludicolo damages the entire backline. So that's the only real weakness to this team. A grass that doesn't take super effective from counter. And they're just going to shield and farm me down. I didn't get a chance to use my shield, so I lost this game with two shields. So the reverse two shield flex. <laughs> but nonetheless, excellent team. I had fun using it. Um, I hope you get this before you're coming to the end so you can invest in one. And I catch you on the next one. Peace.